Hi, hello. This time we are going to do a rose knot. This is Yatch Senit. Plastic like yes, Yatch Senit. I don't know the name of the material, but uh, doesn't matter. I choose this one. It's very stiff and very wide, so you can see it well and see well the movements. This is tape, just tape to keep them in place, and here also tape. One has to put the key ring immediately. And in the end, this will stay all covered till here. So only this will stay like this. And the tape then does not make any force. So let's begin. When you work it, work it with much, much smaller stuff. And cotton is the best because cotton accommodates. And this one, because it is so stiff, does not accommodate. But actually, for the video, it's very important. So, first movement to pass each each part, the working part, the working end, under the next one. So, this one under, this one under, this one under, under, and the last one under because this one is already under it is a loop so don't confuse yourself this is quite confusing sometimes but it's very easy in the end all you have to do is to check to see if the movements are all perfect if they are all the same they are perfect this is on this side this is on this side this is on this side and this is on this side so it is okay now the next movement over two so this one passes over this and this, over two, over two, keep it in sequence, over two, which ones are the one? One, two, now the last one, which ones are? This one, one, and that one, and this one, two, okay? So keep it always in the sequence, in the round sequence, and there will be no problem. In the end, one must one must always see if the movements are all in the same positions. So here the same. This one on this side, this one on this side, this one on this side, and this one on this side. So everything is perfect. Now pull it back. Pull it back. Take a good look. Pass it under this one so very easy this, this one is over this one and we want to pass it under so you stick it out and it is already under this one has to pass under this one ok, here the same this one is over this one I do not want, want it over, I want it under, so I pull it back. Of course one could do it directly, but uh, it's more easy, more safe to do it like this. Because, because that is a round movement over two, we never know exactly where the, the points are going to, to come out. That's why you do it like this. And here you have the first, the center of the rows, the petals, the petals of the central rows, and then a second row of petals encircling the core. So this is the core, and this is the encircling. Now here, we are going to finish it already. The movement here is over one, under one. And it is already worked, you keep it in the other way. So, over one, under one. Here, the same. Over one, under one. And finally, this one. Over one, under one. Very easy. This movement is not part of the rows. This is only for concealing 
the the the, the points. This point they have to be properly concealed. Take a good look. This is beautiful, right? But take a good look. If I pull it up, I will collapse it. Actually, this is for making a tassel. You can make a goblet, a chalice with this technique. But right now, we just want to do a rose. So you put it down. Now here, we have already made all the movements. You should also check if everything is the same. So if this one is under this one, this one under this one, this one under this one, they are all in the proper places. Now take a good look. You put it in here. Why do you put it in here? Because we want to avoid that up collapsing. So when you get here, you do this movement. Now, do it with all. It's very easy. Just pull it a little back. And there it is. And you keep it parallel to this one. So, here it is, the next one. The same thing. At the same time, take a good notice. These are fantasy roses. They're not classical movements. They are Classical roses, classic rose knots, but this is fancy rose. You can even invent your own roses. And here you have, take a good look, the central bud, rose bud. Now, roses, more petal roses, and now this movement is also of the same kind of a rose petal. And it's it's not an alien movement, it's an integrated movement with the rose. This makes it beautiful. Now I've pulled it too much, and if I, I have to pull it back a little, because I need space. And now I'm going to do it a little, a little slack, you know, just then you have to use the proper contention here. If we pull it too much here and this is short, then we will have a lot of difficulty in doubling. Now we are going to doubling this, this part. This one always on the side of this one. You see? Now it is two, so it is doubled. I'm going to do the same with all. In here what we do with one working end, we do with all the others, all the other ends, one after the, the other. So, now, up. Why? Because we are following, we are doubling. This one is following this one. Okay? Now in here we should use a very dangerous instrument, it's a marling spike feed. This is for opening. Be careful, never put your hand in the front. Never make force to the leg, never make force to the belly, never make force to the eyes, never make force to a person that it is watching. Because this can make a jerk movement, sudden jerk movement, and it's very dangerous. That's why this is to, to stop the movement, you see. When, when the rope gets here or here, it will stop the movement. So it will stop, not allowing an accident. But still, if you do force like this to you, accidents can happen. It's very dangerous. So keep it always on the hand, cover it with the thumb, and work it like this. Never work it like this. You don't have strength, you don't have control. Just keep it concealed. The more concealed it is, the better. Take a good look. This is not. This is not. Um, it's round, all right. The point is round. You do it like this, and you don't make a, a blood. But of course, if you pinch it here, 
it will cross your hand from one side to the other very easily so be extremely careful the freeze is dangerous very dangerous I have just I have uh, hurt I have hurt the I have hurt the the Senate I have hurt it there now here is the difficulty you see I have to pull it and do it like this you see like this this can come out so be extremely careful now here if we make a classic movement we should double this but we don't want to double this we want to come back immediately down so we open it here why because we want to finish the, the knot now this is a difficult part that's why I leave it without making too much force so it is easy for you to see you see so this one that was doubling here this one is left single because a uh, rose on the top is always single for the petals these are all single petals but here it is already under all those strings be careful be extremely careful with this movement oh i hurt you you hear that i hurt the this that's bad because that's bad because i'm i'm going to reuse this senate and then the senate is already spoiled that's bad all right i have 50 minutes uh, I'm, I'm starving I was in a kind of a hurry but I don't need to be so much hurry you see it now here you can pull it because this is the end here one cuts it all right now again do not be shocked with the size of this because I made it this for you to to see it if you made it in in, in in tiny line like this the white like this white line like this it will stay very beautiful and very perfect and cotton does not stay with this you see these long spaces these long spaces of of the the ropes it is because this is very stiff does not accommodate if you use wool well twisted wool all accommodates and stays without any gaps the more soft rope or sanit you, you use the the more it will accommodate and if it accommodates does not leave you see how difficult this can be and if it is tight it is really difficult be careful don't look don't make this don't look all right don't look just don't have the tendency to look no we have to ah it's here you see it here it's there but uh, all right it's there now i could pinch the rope and pull it but because i, I want to uh, okay here it comes here it comes and finally the last one now the last one is always the more difficult because everything is already too much tight right so i'm opening the feed is all, only opening the spaces okay do not hurt the, the senate if you hurt the senate then if you pass it it will pass it will, it will hurt more the senate or the rope and that's actually bad it 
can pull a little once. This is hard, it's very hard. I should have here uh, an instrument for grabbing, but I forgot it. <laughs> yes, I forgot it, so I cannot get out of here. <laughs> but this one is the last one. I don't have strength, enough strength to pull it. Alright. Ah! Now here this is to pull, it, to be well, well pulled. And here you have. So all this must come out more or less in the same places. And here you have a beautiful rose. You can see this here, for instance, I have left it too much up. But then you can take these very carefully can pull it. You see this one being pulled? Look. Now I can pull it. You see how much slack I have already here? And now you pull it all the way. All the way. Be careful with this. This makes shirks. Shirks movements. You see how much slack we have here? Take a good look. I'm going to pull it. Just for you to see it. You see the slack here? Take a good look. Side. This one is also too much up, so we have how much time? I have 10 minutes, okay, yeah. I have time for this. Take a good look at here, I'm going to pull it. So it's this one, this one I'm going to pull it. I don't know if, if, when, if it is visible or not. And here it comes. Uh, you see the slack here? It's already a big slack. It's in this movement that this jumps. Be extremely careful. Now take a look. I'm going to put my fingers here so you can see how much does it come out. You see? This was the slack, almost two fingers. Yes, almost two fingers of slack. Yeah. And you can do it and do it and do it until it is perfect. Because I have time, I can do it. I have eight minutes. Take a good look. This is coming, coming, coming. See the slack here? Amazing, right? Take a good look. Now here, careful. It can jump. And here it is again. Take a good look. Good look. See? See how much it comes? So this one is already good. It's already good. It's already good. This is a little high. And here is it too much soft, it's not well pulled. These finishing details they are important for the look the look of, of the work. Again, let's let's wait. Alright. 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 Well, it's much better now. And it is perfect, right? It's a perfect rose. Why? Because this looks like a petal. And here it is the same. Take a good look. This petal makes a very good parallel line with the, the central eye petal. So you have the central eye with the petals. Four petals. One, two, three, four. And then parallel to this, you have also this parallel. You see, this one comes here to here, and this one comes here to here. All right? The, the, the central one comes through here, and this one comes through here. 
So there is a queerance, there is a beauty in here. And this petal, it seems also a petal. Why? Because this petal is the one that separates the other petals. So when you when you look at it, what you see? A rose. This is the eye of the rose, the central part. But if you put it inside in the in the sides, it is still a rose. Still a rose. It's a rose on all sides. Of course, from here down, you have parallel. Parallel. This is not already a rose effect. Why? Because this is for concealing the working points. Now this here, you just cut off short. And take a look. This one, this one comes from here to here. So it passes under one, two, three, four, six, five, six. Okay? So it will never come out there. Of course, if I put the feet there and pull it, of course it will come out. But in the normal use, it never comes out. Because this one passes under one, two, three, four, five, and six. It is well concealed and well put there. Now, as you all know, yatch, you cannot cut yatch just like this. Yatch has a special instrument. Uh, heating with uh, heating special heating so you protect all this well you put here some sink between and then you take it's an iron instrument and it will melt it cut by melting after you cut all you take the feed and with the point you put it here don't leave it like this you just put it here so it stay under these ones so the diagonal of this is like this but when it is cut should be like this so it is all to the same sides don't make force like this because it will have a tendency to come out here now it's not up it's to the side just to conceal it and then you do this like this and you it will stay there without seeing and without coming out of course when you look at this, you say, oh, that's a monster. Yes, it's a monster for you to see it well. You make it in very short, in very tiny string, and it will to be perfect. You can do it even for earrings. Yes, for the ladies. I've done several in my professional life. I was a professional knotter for 25 years. I've made my life only with this. So, if you don't have that instrument, you can use a knife that is well eaten on fire. Special old knife that you don't like. Remember, don't do it like this on, on because you can hurt this one or you can hurt this one. You just put an, an iron sink in between and then you eat it well and you make it force and it, it will come out and it's, it will stay. Well, not glued, but uh, melted, that's right, melted. Be careful with the vapors of this. Do not breathe in the vapors. Just go outside, do it outside, put yourself against the wind. So you have the wind from a direction, a direction from here and take the, 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 the smell, the toxic the toxic fumigations that will get out when you put the hot knife on it from here out of you okay security first so this is very dangerous this is also a small rose by the way I don't know if you can see it well but it is a small rose it is very very with sweat <laughs> sweat from the hand. I have worked with this little instrument here more than 25, 26 years. Okay? And so here you have your beautiful rose for a keychain. And inside there is no need to do anything to the tape because the tape will stay there. And this is well, well jammed, you know will never come out of here, of here okay i hope you have really enjoyed 
Let's try to see it. Just the rows. Just the rows. Ah, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Just the rows. So beautiful, isn't it? I think it's marvelous rows. Fancy rows, remember. You can do a lot of variations in these roses. Just do what you want. It's only movements under and movements over and movements over under and with all those very simple movements you can do hundreds of different fancy roses all right see you next time i hope you i hope you have enjoyed this and be careful this working this is also hard for the muscles don't do too much i <laughs> I got a problem here on my head, <laughs> working for too much years. <laughs> yes, working has side effects, unfortunately. Stay safe, be prudent. Thank you for watching.